All right, guys and gals, I'm going to go over a uh, color print, two color print with uh, Prusa uh, color print. And uh, for this example, I'm using Simplify 3D. And with that, what we're going to do is set this up so in a way that we can uh, successfully generate G-code, send it into the uh, Prusa software, and have it uh, stop and start to print and allow us to change filament for a two color print. Number one thing you want to do is go into your settings, into your slicer settings. This is applicable to any slicer. Uh, in Simplify 3D, we have what's called a retraction vertical lift. That needs to be set to zero. Um, if it's not, any time the head retracts uh, during its travel paths and uh, exceeds the area that we're going to produce our layer change, it will cause confusion. So you just want to make sure that your retraction vertical lift is set to zero. In other applications, in other slicers, it may be titled or labeled something differently. So we're going to make sure that's set to zero. We're going to answer OK. And now we're going to prepare it to print and get a look at the, the model and the sliced layers. Here's just a, uh, a drone. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to attempt to print up to this area here in one color and then from the engine mount platform, which is this area, up a different color. So what I need to know is what layer is that. We have 96 layers all together. So I'm going to scroll back in the uh, history of the layer sequence. And we're going to move it forward and get a look at it when it makes that appropriate change for me. So we're getting close. I want this mount to, and from the mount down to be one color. And then once it progresses up to be a different color. Okay, so it's starting to progress up, and I'm going to make a note of that. I need to go back down a layer. Okay, so it looks like at about layer 16, from layer 0 to 16, it's going to be uh, one color, and then everything up is going to be another. So I need to take note of that. And I'm printing at a 0.2 layer height, so I need to do some math. And this is simple math, but I'll do it just for the sake of this uh, illustration. I've got 16 layers times 0.2 equals 3.2 millimeters that is where my layer change is going to occur okay so i just need to remember that to enter that value in here so what we'll do now is we'll proceed forward and have it save the toolpath generate me some g code and we'll just put it in an example folder here and i'll tell it to save that so now what we've got is the g code that it's generated we need to drag it into our color print and it's going to ask us uh, to make a, a change, to add a change, a layer change. You can add more than one as far as that goes, as long as you know the layer that you'd like to change. So I'm going to add a change, and that change needed to be at 3.2 millimeters. So I can begin by incrementing this up. They've got a slider also. So I need to go to 3.2, and there we are. Now, when I click Save, it's going to write that value, that M600 command, to this G code file, that M600, which is going to allow this print to be interrupted, pause, move the nozzle to the front of the bed, eject the filament, and allow me to insert new filament, purge it out until the color change is acceptable, and then I can resume my print. So keep that in mind. If you've got a, a, a well worked up piece of G code, this will alter it. It will write those commands to the G code that you're working with. So I'm going to click Save. It successfully done that, written it to this uh, G code file. And at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and send it to my printer. Now, this is going to print up to layer height uh, 3.2 millimeters. It's going to issue a series of beeps. It's going to move that nozzle to the front of the bed. It's going to eject the current color filament. And then it's going to ask me to insert my next filament, um, go through a series of questions and answers. It will draw in the new filament. It will. Uh, run it through the nozzle and you may or may not have a clean stream of your new color but you can have an option to progress and send even more through until you get a good uh, pure color coming out of that nozzle and then before you resume your final print so hope somebody out there finds this useful remember uh, we've got a new website up prusamk2.com and our own facebook group where you can uh, find a link on the prusa M or Pru prusa mk2.com website and uh, join our Facebook group and sharing some of the uh, tricks and tips that we're coming up with. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.